Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel at the Regal Gentleman Studio. Now today, our episode is a little bit different for you today and that's not just because I'm clean shaven. We are going to take you a little bit of a behind the scenes into what products we're using, what tools I'm using, uh, purely by request, and also, you know, a little, little bit of the space as well so you can see it. So when we moved into the studio, we were looking to work with new brands. I know we've been using the Regal Gentleman Clay, but we fancy kind of branching out and work with other brands and see what they had to offer. Now, thankfully, Mankind came through and gifted us a load of products, which is very kind of them. Now, Mankind is the go-to destination for all your barbering and grooming essentials. Now, I want you to come with me and have a little look at the products we've been using today. Now, this is what I've got in my hair right now. It's the Hans de Foucault Claymation. I've got to say, I have been a lover of this product for a, a long time. And if I remember correctly, David Beckham used to wear this in here. I might be wrong. Maybe someone can tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's something I used to use. Now, this is a dry clay, uh, not too dissimilar to other dry clays that we've been using lately, but the one thing I love about this is the pliability. I've got this in my hair. I've had this in since about six o'clock this morning, and it's now five to two. So you can imagine it's quite a long time. As you can see, the play, I move it around. You know, it just doesn't fall out. And I absolutely love this one, but this is the one that I was using today. So the sort of styles I'd use this particular clay on would be anything like mine, quite loose, lived in, you know, even longer lengths as well. You know, someone who wants that kind of dry, that kind of natural finish, but with just a little bit of hold as well. Something that's going to give it that pliability. Um, so can you imagine like my kind of messy styles, even like if it was longer and brushed back and you want something that didn't look too heavily styled, I would use this one for that. Moving on, next product we got was from the Damon Barber. Now this is the classic pomade. Now, if you could, if you had smell vision, it smells absolutely incredible. Now this is a medium hold, but a, a really high shine. So this is your classic sort of pompadours, side parts, brush backs, they're kind of, you know, slick finish. And um, the kind of uh, rockabillies as well. This is also good for anyone with short hair as well. So if you've had like, say, a very, very short scissor cut on top or like a crop, if you want to add a little bit of shine to the kind of, to, to a shorter haircut to make it look like you made an effort. And also when you're out and about in the, in the natural light, when you get a little bit of shine on a fade, it just makes it stand out so much. So I would use that for them as well. So the next product we got was by Label M. Now this is my paste. I've used this for years, literally years. I even remember, I think the first time I used this, my uncle was using it in his hair about God, eight years ago, maybe, maybe a bit longer. And it's always been a staple product. It's always been something that it's a good go-to product. Now, it's a matte paste, but it has a very similar finish to a clay in some respect, but a little bit more shine. So I would use this product for my styles. If you want a little bit more definition in them, so you want a little bit more of a, a natural shine. Longer hair, it's great in longer hair. You know, if you want to kind of add definition to a longer style, say work it into the sides, bring them down, add that weight in there, add that natural shine. It's fantastic for them. But this can be used really well as a base product. So put it in when it's towel dried and you blow dry it in. And it gives, it just gives that little bit of extra hold that you might need. So a bit, a bit stronger than a salt spray because it is water soluble. So a bit stronger than a salt spray, um, but not as heavy as putting say like a, a, a texture spray or something in. So it, you, you could feel the product was in there, but it still moved around. It still flowed. It didn't have that kind of memory that gels and things have as well. So yeah, fantastic. Now, I know you've seen a lot of our videos and I am heavily using powders at the moment, styling powders. Now this is Redken Powder Grip. It's the product of the moment, really. I'm using it an awful lot on pretty much every style. So again, long, short, extremely long, extre probably extremely short as well in some respect. I've been using this an awful lot. So what you do is sprinkle a little bit in, mess it up, and that is it. So dry hair, remember, don't put it in wet because it doesn't give the same effect. Spring it on dry hair for any look you want to create. The best thing is it's super matte. It's got the same kind of look and the same kind of hold as a clay, but you don't have to wash your hands after it. It's the easiest product to apply. You just literally blast your hair off with a hairdryer and sprinkle it on and that's it. So yeah, this is a fantastic product. Moving on to probably the best smelling product I have ever smelled. I think this could be uh, like an odor parfum, honestly. This is the Balmain Texturizing Salt Spray. And it's just genuinely incredible. Now we pick, we, we handpicked all of these products that we wanted to try out. And I know this was definitely on the cards for me to want, want to try out in people because it's very hard when you are 
you know, there's that many products on the market. Where do you go to? What what do you look for when you when you're trying to find a product? Now, scent is always a big, big thing for me. Now, this smells unbelievable. It is literally like a, an aftershave and odor parfum. It really is. Most salt sprays will add that little bit of a tiny, tiny bit of hold. More kind of the, the next day feel. Now, because this has got that texturizing element in as well, it adds much more thickness than a regular salt spray. It gives more definition than a regular salt spray. And if you've got fine enough hair that you don't wanna use anything in it, like literally you wanna not use a styling product in it, if you sprayed this in and dried it with either a brush or just with your fingers, it would add enough hold that you could style it. So that's what I really like about this one. This is a really good, not just as a base, but sort of as a, as a pre-styler, in a sense that you don't necessarily have to always use a styling product afterwards. You could dry it into, say, someone with really curly hair, get your diffuser on it, and then just dry it in, and it'll give that hold and that definition that you're looking for. So it's like, probably say, if you look at a factor of a hold as a one to 10, if you look at, say, a regular salt spray being one, I'd say this is around about a two or a three in factor hold. So still on the lower end of the scale, but a bit more hold than a salt spray. So moving on, we have got the Label Men Scalp Tonic. Now, everyone needs a tonic in their life. It's not, it's not a product you should really compromise on because you can have nice, healthy hair, but healthy hair comes from healthy scalp. And that's where a scalp tonic comes into play. So this could be used straight after a conditioner, or you could use it before a conditioner, after you've shampooed, then put the conditioner over it once you've sprayed it onto the scalp. That's a good way to go about using scalp tonics. So if you don't always use a conditioner, use this in place of a conditioner in the week. So I always recommend people to sort of condition the hair twice a week, maybe three times, depending on how dry it is or the weather. Um, use this on the days in between. You can use it every day if you want, but use this on the days in between and you'll really notice the benefit. The way your scalp feels, the way, the way it feels when you, when you actually scratch it or touch it, that's when you'll know the difference in the scalp. From the same brand, the Label Men, we've got a Thickening Tonic. Now this is particularly good, again, in guys who have got thinning hair. So when I say thinning hair, it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody is going bald, it just means that someone has, their hair density has changed. So in the summer, your hair can sometimes get thinner, right? Because of the heat and the molten. So I would always use this in someone who has got that kind of fine textured hair. So anyone with that kind of fine blonde, fine brown texture, it's always good just to add that bit of bulk. The beauty of the products by Label Men is that they are made by barbers and stylists. So it's not just like they're putting a product together for the sake of putting a product together. It's actually done and created with this in mind, you know, with, with me, with you in mind. And that's why I really like this brand. Um, we've been using it an awful lot. We've been using this for a few weeks now and they are... They are fantastic, they really are. It just had that more that body, a bit more bulk to the hair. But most importantly, it felt thicker. And that, I think as well, that is just as important as it looking thicker as well. So yeah, Label Men Thick and Tonic, recommend the product. Last but not least, we have Groom and Cream by Baxter of California. Now, I've used Baxter of California. I had these stocked in my shop when I opened it eight years ago. And it was mainly the skincare because I didn't really know much about the hair care. Now, when we pick this one to use, this is literally all I've been using on longer hair lately. For, you know, that kind of like smoother finish a lot of guys want to get and that kind of more conditioned and nourished feel. Now, the, the actual ingredients on this, it does say light hold, natural finish. I would say it has got a light hold, but I feel that sometimes if you put it in dry, in dry hair, the hold's a little bit stronger than just light. But I've been using this on like towel dried hair. Which, which works an absolute treat. As you can see from the ingredients themselves, shea butter, jojoba oil, aloe leaf juice, vitamin B and E, and botanical extract. So this isn't only a good styling product, this is actually good for your hair as well, which I think is very important. I would tend to use this on the longer hair as well, but do you know if you've just got like, say, you want a really relaxed hair, because you've got a short back and size and you brush it over to one side. If you want something just to give a little bit of kind of nourishment to the hair, but you know it's gonna style it a little bit as well, just gives it a little tiny bit of hold, which just looks like you've made an effort, a little bit of natural shiny. The natural light hits your hair, you can see it looks healthy. This is the one that I would use. Now you'll see a lot of our longer hair videos coming soon, and this is the one that I've been using. I've been drying it in, I've been using it as a finishing product. It literally is a sort of an all-rounder really. So that was grooming cream. Now. Mankind have been kind enough to offer us a discount code for all of our subscribers and all of our followers. It's Regal GMK. You can get all the products I've just shown you and many, many more on their site as well. Now, do you wanna come with me and see the, the tools of the trade? Now this is probably the most requested um, 
question we get asked in our comments is what tools do I use? Uh, what combs do I use? What scissors am I using at the moment? Now, I do fluctuate between certain scissors, but I've been, I've pretty much fell in love with these ones lately. So come and have a little look at the ones that I'm using at the moment. So now these are the Asaka Super Ergo. Okay. Now these are offset and they are seven inch scissors. Okay. Now the reason why I'm loving them at the moment is because just the angle, the offset angle is just so comfortable. You see the way it's slightly slanted, so slightly offset. If it was a barber and scissor, it'd be a lot flatter, okay? But it's offset. And also just, just the length of it. You know, using with a comb, if you have a look at how long it is, it literally one section, you can cut on the whole comb. So when we are doing scissor work, and, and especially nowadays, lately with the, the longer haircuts, a lot of it is scissor over comb. I'm just fine. I'm, I'm literally flying through the haircuts now. So the work is still consistent, but it's quicker. So one of my go-to tools is a feather razor. Now, the reason why I use a feather razor, we've all seen the way you can texturize and add secondary shape, but I've been using this one a lot lately, okay? And this, this one particularly is a passion two-in-one feather razor. Add a razor. Not only will it make you look better to the clients, well, it shows you, you know, a bit of flair, a bit of finesse, makes you stand out from everybody else as well, which I think is brilliant. That is one of the reasons why I love using a razor, not only because of it does exactly what it says. All right. Now onto combs. I'm going to start with my all-purpose scissor comb. So this is what I use for all of my scissor over comb. This is a Matador saw cut five. Okay. This is the one that I, I've always used since day one. And yeah, I'm just so used to it now. I just, I couldn't use anything else for scissor over comb. So that is what I use a Matador saw cut five. Everybody has to have this in their arsenal. It is the wall clipper comb. I mean, I don't know a single barber who hasn't got one of these, whether it's white or green or yellow or whatever. I, I mean, I know you guys don't like the black combs. I get it, but I'm, I'm just so used to them. I will paint them white. I promise I will paint them white one day. Now, I was always taught to use the combs based on the size of the, of the grade that we're using, so the number on the back and sides. So I just ended up finding out the comb size that fitted into these numbers. And I've always just used that to refine over. So if I'm ever doing a number one back in size or a 1.5, I'll always use this to refine the blend. If I'm using a two or upwards, I'll always use the matador. Now, onto my small comb. Now, this is a matador saw cut one. Okay, it's called a barber comb. Now, the reason why I like this, again, it's smaller, smaller teeth, but it's very, very bendy. Okay, so when you're trying to tape up the neck and they just want scissors, I was always terrified I'm going to nip this bit of the ear on both sides. But why I like this, I'm just shot on my own, my own head. As you press into the neckline, it comes away. So as you're waking up the head, you, your scissors aren't near, even your fingers aren't near the ear. Whereas if you use a harder comb, like the number five, you see how much closer it is to the ear and you can't bend the comb away. Now that's one of the reasons why I really like the size one comb, especially the Matador size one. Again, the same sturdiness, the same so it's a feel to the teeth, it's not too sharp again, especially when going into like say curly hair, it doesn't pull at, the, at the, the follicle, which is really good. Next up is my clipper comb. Now, please bear with me, I've lost a tooth, right? But these are like gold dust to find at the moment. Now this is the Matador Saw Cup 45. I've got one on order. It's took about two weeks to come in, it still hasn't come in yet. I thought it would have been in for our filming. Now again, quality of build, not too sharp on the teeth, very sturdy, doesn't bend too much. But the reason, again, why I use this comb is because it's very similar to the same size as the head on my clippers, okay? Now, we've all made that mistake, and I am the first one to admit we've either gone under the comb or we've gone over the comb. Or even if we're doing clipper over comb this week, we've gone past the comb. We've all done it. We've all made that horrendous, heart-wrenching mistake, right? Now, if you think about this, I'm using this size comb. This goes down to a number two when pressed against the scalp. So that, again, that's where it comes from when I'm doing my fading. I always start with the number two because I know I can blend it out. I've got the comb that goes down to a two. I know I can always blend it up into, uh, into you know, the, the majority of lengths. But if you think about it, if I'm using this and I'm doing clip over comb, right, as you can see, it's the same, pretty much the same size as the comb, right? In fact, it is, but not where the spine of the comb is, but the same size. Let's like to make a mistake. If I was doing it on this one, my size five, look how much of the blade is exposed. Now, one cough, one twitch, one someone bumps into you, you're gonna make a mistake. 
Now that's one of the reasons why I used a, a, a clip, I used a bigger comb for clipper work. That was one of the, the main advantages that I found using the bigger comb. So it does still go down to the same size as the size five comb. It's just bigger and wider and it just alleviates, you know, and, and just takes that again, I know I go on about this, but prevention over cure. I don't want to try and fix a haircut that I've took a chunk out of. No one does. Especially you've got a queue of people behind you and you might be the new boy or the new girl. You don't want that. So that's why I think using a bigger comb alleviates them problems, but also just helps you out and it works. I've recently discovered this little comb. Now, um, I, I was always using a very long comb, I think. I, I, and it was more because I felt like I was fingers and thumbs when I was doing my palm to palm work or working through the top. But I've, I picked one of these up and I thought, you know what, I've never really used a smaller comb. I've never really used, never used a, a comb with the tooth missing for the section, the, the section tooth at the top. Never really used it that much. So I thought, I'm gonna give it a go. I was in a wholesalers and I thought, hmm, okay, I might give it a go. And then I found one on Mankind and I thought, right, it's a sign. I ordered it through the Mankind website. It came, I got it in bright green for everyone. So no one can moan at me for having it black, even though you know how much I love my black combs. And to be honest, it's so light. It's, it's not bendy at all. Now, what I like about it is I think because I can hold it a bit like a pen. Do you know when you're doing sections from the back? If you're doing a very long haircut, like a one length cut, or you're working just in palm to palm, it's very easy to take it. You can hold it like a pen basically. It's very easy to take a section in the hair. Just go down, pull it apart. And I find with it being smaller, I found it's easier to section the hair off. And it's light, it's durable. And I'm not finding it, it's fingers long. I think it's long enough for it to actually be quite a nice, comfortable fit. So yeah, I've kind of moved on to new comb. Like, like I've always said though, I think as, as a barber, I'm always evolving. I'm never just sticking to, I know, you know, obviously I stick to a few of the things that I like, but I'm not one to shy away from trying something new, especially products and, and tools and, and different equipment, etc. So I've kind of started using this one an awful lot now. So I would definitely recommend this one. So that was my combs and my scissor and my razor that I use. Now onto the clippers. So I'm gonna start on my shaver first. Now, I've been using the Braun Series 7, okay? I've used a lot from the Braun range, starting with the Series 3 up to the Series 9. So yeah, I think because of the design, the way it feels in my hand, how light it is, the fact that the head moves around, I've just been using some of my skin fades lately. And with Braun, you know you're not going to get any irritation, no redness, no ingrown hairs, no nothing. So that's why I feel very comfortable using this and going so short. I even use this on my son who's 9, and there's never ever any redness or irritation or anything. Now, as you can see, I'm clean shaven, as you can see. Um, and if you are doing full clean shaves or you're doing detailing around the beard, so you're doing a, a faded beard or you're just trying to emphasize some sharp lines, some contouring, this is ideal for that as well because it's so gentle on the skin. You're not gonna get the irritation. You're not gonna get the redness. I can't emphasize that enough. You can go over moles. It's not gonna cut them. It really is the best shave that I've used. And this is also available on Mankind as well. Now, next up are my clippers. Now, lately I've been using the Babyliss Super Motor. I, f I find it's made my fading so much better. And I, I can look back at so many other videos thinking, could have done that there, could have done this there, could have done that there. And I'm a, I am, I am a, a sucker for doing that. I always do that. But I find with this, I'm, I'm finding it very hard to fault the fading work at the moment. And I think it's just helping me because of, I can work through notches. I can be consistent on each part of the fade. Now that is, one of the reasons why I love it. And also the head, the clipper head is, is universal for other um, branded clipper heads as well, which is really good. So yeah, that's my clipper. Now, if you are a beginner barber, you don't have to go out and get the, the sort of fanciest clippers, right? I sort of look at clippers like football boots. You know, you've got the Predator and you've got the Puma King, right? I'm pretty sure that when you're starting off, you don't go for the Predators, right? You go for the Puma Kings. You go for the basic trade, basic football boots that do the job, right? You can move on to the Predators with the little curve axis on and everything else. But reality is just get yourself a pair of clippers if you are a beginner barber and just get practicing. Next up, I've got two trimmers, okay? Now, this is the Supermotor trimmer. This come as a set with the Supermotor clipper. This is in between my skeleton, fabulous skeleton trimmers and the Supermotor in length. So I find it's not that, it's not the sharpest of clippers, to do like lying out with and stuff like that. But I find it's, I find it's nice to taper with. I find it's nice to wear clipper over comb around the neckline. I think it's nice to work in between your zero on your clippers and your skeleton clippers. It just gets that little line out that these create because they're so much shorter than the super motor clippers. Now, I, this is a good one for when you're working on bulk as well. I find the bulk reduction, because if you look at the teeth, 
The much longer teeth, so they were better at bulk reduction as well. That's definitely more for fine tuning, hairlines, shape ups, you know, and obviously going down, way down to the skin. But the wider the tooth, the better I find them, more hair feeds through it, which I find is better for clipper over comb. So I use that one as well. But for skeletons, I mean, I don't even know where to start with these. These are unbelievable, absolutely unreal. They're so sharp, they're consistent. I mean, it, it, they, they, they really are a world beater, I've got to say. I've never, I've never used a pair of trimmers so good and so sharp as these before. The battery life as well, that's one thing I need to mention on these. The battery life is insane. They last ages. I don't, don't exactly know how many minutes because, you know, I'm not sponsored by the way anything. I don't know how many minutes. But I can do at least four haircuts, especially with the super motors, before they start flashing red. These last me all day with a single charge, you know? The trimmers are exactly the same. So you do get such longevity out of them as well for the battery life. Um, but yeah, anyone looking to switch up to maybe a bit of a sharper trimmer or they're, they're doing a lot more skin phase now, or even working on some more outline and hairlines and things like that, shape ups and things, give this a go. It's really, really good. We can't forget the hairdryer. Now, to mankind were very kind again to send us this Babilis Pro hairdryer. Now, I've got to say I'm partial to a bit of rose gold, to be honest, and this is kind of like, I'm liking this kind of colour. But what I love about this as well is that it's just super light, really, really easy to use. Cold button, which surprisingly not every hairdryer has, which I was surprised about. But more than just having two functions and two heat settings, two speed settings, it's got three. So it's super powerful and super hot. So I've noticed when I'm working with longer hair now, I've been using the heat more, especially with the diffuser. Now this is a Babilis Universal Diffuser. Slots right on. It's, it's quite smarty, which is quite nice. It's great when you're working on guys like shorter hair, shorter killer hair. A small diffuser works really, really well. But with the, the heat setting being so much higher than some of the other hair dryers that I've used, I find that it's, it's working much quicker, especially when on a diffuser, because obviously with a diffuser, with the hair being blasted out, it tends to lose its heat a little bit. So medium setting, like the lowest setting that I can possibly do, and then put the heat setting up as well. So yeah, again, great hair dryer. And I've got to say thank you very much to mankind for giving us the opportunity to try these new brands out because we'd never have knew about these brands or used these brands if we hadn't been uh, working with mankind. So, so they are my tools that I'm using at the moment. Now, mankind, where did this all come about? So mankind had seen our channel and they'd seen that we reach out to such a big audience from barbers to non-barbers, hairdressers, etc. People in the industry, but not in the industry. So they wanted to get involved with us with our very own discount code, but also help barbers as well create additional revenue streams with the hashtag Mankind Barber Pros program. So this, you can create uh, your own additional income, but also work within the events team as well. So you can have the potential to work with brands such as Hugo Boss, American Crew, Damon Barber, etc. as well. So we're gonna pop a link in the description below for the Barber Pros program. And I'll put a link in there for all the products from Mankind that I showed you earlier on. Um, but also don't forget to use our discount code. So thanks very much guys for watching. I know it's a bit of a different video today and obviously a very different look, but um, yeah, welcome to the studio. I'm glad we could give you a little tour of what we're doing here, what we're using, and also what I'm cutting hair with. Uh, we filmed literally, I don't know, I don't even know how many videos we've filmed now, but we've got some fantastic content coming up in the next few months.